Thousands of Palestinians took to the streets on March 30th to mark the 46th Yom Al-Ard or Land Day. On this day in 1976, mass protests were held across historic Palestine against Israel's attempts to expropriate thousands of dunums of Palestinian land. Israeli forces violently repressed these protests, leading to the deaths of six Palestinians and injury to over 70 others on March 30th. Since then, Land Day is observed each year to symbolize the ongoing collective struggle against the Israeli occupation. In 2018, Land Day marked the beginning of the Great March of Return, one of the biggest resistance struggles against Israel. Land Day also marks the resolve to secure the right of return for Palestinians who were forcibly displaced and ethnically cleansed from their homes during the 1948 Nakba, as well as their descendants. Today, they number about 6 million. The right of return is recognized in United Nations Resolution Number One Ninety Four of nineteen forty eight. However, Israel refuses to adhere to it. This year, a march was organized in the towns of Sakhnin and Deir Hana, which were the focus of the nineteen seventy six protests. Six villages in the Galilee were put under curfew. Mobilizations also spread to the Al-Naqab and Wadi Ara areas. Palestinians were not only protesting the theft and seizure of their lands, but Israel's broader settler colonial project. The land day struggle is especially significant considering the increasing theft, dispossession, and displacement of Palestinians from their lands. This includes discriminatory policies of segregation and control, demolition of Palestinian homes both within Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories and eviction of residents, and construction of large-scale illegal settlements. Today, Palestinians in the neighborhoods of occupied East Jerusalem, including Silvan and Sheikh Jarrah, are under imminent threat of forced expulsion. The homes of Palestinian Bedouins living in unrecognized villages in Al-Naqab or Negev Desert are constantly razed, sometimes nearly 200 times. Palestinian land in the region is under threat again, this time from a so-called forestation plan of the quasi-governmental Jewish National Fund. At the same time, Israel has sanctioned the building of new settlements in the desert. Palestinians have long termed these policies apartheid. Increasingly, human rights organizations are endorsing this position.